In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a template that can be beneficial for both teachers and students as well as for the working professionals. As you can see here, I've created this open book design in PowerPoint where you can add your name, the school name, the class section and give some detailed text. And then on the right side, I've used some index page where I've added different subjects like maths, physics, chemistry and biology. And then I've put the maths is in page number two, physics in four, chemistry in six and biology in eight. And when I click the page turns and you can see here, this is the first subject, which is maths. You can add the subject name and you can add any text of your choice here. And then when I click, it will go to the chemistry. You can add any of your science project or physics project here. And then comes the chemistry and then the biology. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease. Again, if you want to go back, you can just put uh, you can type the or press the the top arrow key from your keyboard all right you can see here with the help of the top and bottom arrow key you can flip the pages you can see here and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to create this if you are using older version like 2010 or 2007 then some features may not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle draw the rounded corner rectangle depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the height and then just put it close to the center and you can see the small orange point just drag this outside and give a very little curve shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give this particular color if you want you can give some different color as well now i'm going to hold the control shift key and adding it here this side you can see here i've given the equal spacing between these two and then i'm going to give a kind of 3d look for this one for that select the object right mouse click go to format shape under the effects scroll down to 3d rotation you can see here and the presets scroll down and you can see here this is oblique bottom left just click it like this and then go to the 3d format and give the depth okay maybe the depth i'm going to give maybe 15 all right now coming to this particular shape go back and scroll it down 3d rotation and here again scroll down we i'm going to give oblique bottom right this time and then i'm going to give the same depth which is 15 all right so you can see it looks something like this and then i'm going to add the pages here so i'm going to select this shape press ctrl d to duplicate and give the color as white and then you can just reduce the size by holding the shift key a little bit redu reduction required okay and then i'm going to put it like this here all right and then here also i'm going to do, do the same thing press ctrl d to duplicate make it white so for this uh, particular page i have used 6.79 and 5.47 so i have to use the same thing how much is that one let me just look 6.79 so this is 6.79 and this is 5.47 5.47 so this will give the equal uh, page size both the sides okay and then just align it properly so you can see here we have added this particular uh, shape uh, of the page now now it's a time to add some spiral binding effect for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape click on the oval shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any dark color and then make this as maybe point one and point one both these places i think point one is very small point one is very small so let me just make it point two both the places the height and width i think this okay let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to put this side here and hold the control shift key add it the other side as well okay and then go to insert shapes 
from the flow chart i'm going to choose this one which is the flow chart terminator just draw the terminator like this all right shape outline no outline shape field you can give any gray color and give some shadow effect so go to the shadows and select this shadow here so it looks like this and then i'm going to select these three shapes press ctrl g to group it let me just zoom out and then hold the ctrl shift key add one by one how many spiral bindings you need so uh, if the spacing is not equal don't no problem we can adjust that later on you can see here i'm just going to add like this maybe one here then i'm going to select all this uh, spiral bindings go to the shape format uh, align and just say distribute vertically so equal spaces between given between this and press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one object so once this is done go to insert shapes i'm going to select some lines or add the lines from this end till this end hold the shape shape outline make it black and then hold the control shift key add it one by one you can see here like this how many lines what's the spacing you need you can adjust that and here also do not worry about the spacing between the lines that we can again hold the shift key select these lines all right and then go to the align distribute vertically and then the transparency you can increase the transparency like this and press ctrl g to group it hold the ctrl shift key and add it toward the right side as well all right here i'm going to add some shapes go to insert shapes i'm going to select this uh, rounded corner the top rounded corner okay like this shape shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice and then this is how i'm going to put it here hold the so in this case i'm going to use only three and then add the text so i'm just going to talk about say uh, subject one all right center align make it bold reduce the size and put it here and before that one you can just go and change the color according to your requirement so i'm going to give some pink color and this one i'm going to give some blue color so this is the subject one i'm going to put it here hold the shift key add it to the second object center align and then the third one and then make this as subject two and this is subject three all right and then i'm just going to group this Control g to group it this also Control g and this two also i'm going to group it and then select this one shape format send this to back behind this page okay it looks like this so you can see here the first page design is over now we need to duplicate this one all right so right mouse click first of all select this slide right mouse click and duplicate the slide now duplicate the slide you know when the paper when the uh, when the book turns when you pay, turn the page it should come the subject one here so i'm just moving this subject one here all right and make sure that this is sent to back all right now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d so now this also subject two will come here okay and make sure that this is also sent to back and then press ctrl d and this one it should come back here okay and then this also send back and for the slide number 9 10 11 i'm going to select these slides do not select the slide one okay so these three slides go to the transitions drop down and select the page curl okay it looks like this so let me just do it this is my slide number eight which is my first slide so now this is subject one subject two subject three when i click it will turn the page it becomes subject one then subject two and then the subject three 
all right so it works like this now to give some differentiation you can just give some different color format for this so here or the sticky note okay so i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and make sure that this is not uh, any 3d rotation so i'm just going to remove the 3d rotation and i'm going to cut only this top part okay so let me just give some different color so you can understand for example i'm going to give this color right and then i'm going to put it exactly here and then only the part which is at the top that only i'm going to cut it so for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle till here all right i'm going to select this shape let me just increase the size sorry select this shape hold the shift key select this one merge shape and just make it fragment and delete the unwanted text and it remains like this you can see here and then hold the control shift key add it towards the right side also and make sure this comes to front all right so now i can just select this one control c go to the next page control v just change the color which matching this one so i'm going to choose the color like this and make sure again this comes to front all right then again control v now this time i have to give this turquoise or the yeah, turquoise color only and then make sure this comes to front all right now if i play you can see here it looks something like this so now the design is over it's time to add any text of your choice so go to insert text box i'm just going to type for example here uh, the page okay two or i'll just say subject one say mathematics all right and then i'm going to make this at hand of sean and give any color of your choice and i'm going to put it here and now i'm going to add it here the page number i'll just say page number two so let me just drag this one by holding the control shift key like this and then i'll just say this is science and this will be page four and then i'll just say this is a uh, social and this page six all right like this you can put it and then you can add the your name your school name your section and all those things and when you come here you can add for example your headline your subject headline and again if you want you can use the same font which is the hand of sean and if you want to change the font color to white up to you and then you can just put any text of your choice related to subject one